Hello, welcome everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the live sale preview tonight. Um, I apologize for getting this video up late. It has been just a crazy, crazy, crazy day, and hopefully I won't have any problems uploading like I did last week. Oh, an angel is going to play with her new toy. So of course it's probably gonna get squeaky in here. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, okay, so without any further ado, here we go with everything that I am going to be offering in the live sale for Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, I don't even know what day it is. This is like what the, oh, I don't even know. The, sometime in August, it's like the first Thursday in August, I think. So um, here we go. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is some earrings here. These are really beautiful. These are going to be some um, some screw back earrings. These are crystal and these are sterling. Um, these and you can see that here. Uh oh, here we go. Um, hopefully I won't have to put her in the other room. Oh, here we go. You can see that it's marked sterling on the Let's see if I can do this here like that. Oh, I, you know, actually, I always forget. On these, I can always zoom in, and here we go. Sterling right there on the back of the screw back. These are awesome. Look how pretty these are. They kind of remind me of a clover, um, but they are blue. So little blue clovers, we'll say, and they are sterling. So really, really pretty. So those will be available tomorrow. And then also these really beautiful star um, clip earrings here. These are gorgeous little, I think they would be considered stars maybe, crystal earrings. Those are gorgeous as well. I've got lots of fun stuff for tomorrow. This is a rhinestone, um, a rhinestone crystal, AB crystal bead wreath brooch. Uh, these are cluster brooches. These are basically sewn on and then um, this uh, backing is then put on to kind of smooth it out. These are really, really pretty. They just kind of catch the light. So pretty. I love those brooches. So that will be available. Um, and then these little green cluster earrings will be available as well. These are kind of petite, which is kind of nice. Um, these are not marked at all. Sometimes they're marked either Hong Kong or Japan. These are not marked with either, but they are very, very beautiful. There we go. And the back on both of those are great. Um, this is a gorgeous brooch right here. Kind of reminds me of like an evil eye or something, doesn't it? Like the pupil. That one's so cool. Let's see, this one is, is marked at all. I did a whatnot show earlier and all these like light blue brooches were all marked, but I don't see that this one is marked at all. No, nope, this one is not marked, but this one is beautiful. Nice fire in this one. Angel, stop, please. I know you got that squeaky, but Went to Costco and I gave her, got her that squeaky and now she's gonna be so loud about it. Please, Angel, go, please. Sorry, guys. All right, then we have, look at how cute this is. Look at this little mother goose just flying away. How freaking adorable is that one? I love this. That is the back. No marks on this one at all, but all the rhinestones are present. Oops, this is so cute. She is adorable. Oh my gosh, I had to put her outside. <laughs> all right, so now moving on. So this one here is another really beautiful, this is a very, very much an antique brooch as well with the topaz and the um, citrine stones. And this one, I believe, is marked yep made in Austria right there gorgeous 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 piece so that one also will be available um, we will do oh 
that one. I don't think we'll do this one tomorrow. That one's got a little ugh to it. Um, same with this one. All right. This brooch here is a pretty little flower. That's the back of it. And it has a tiger's eye cabochon in the center. That one's cute. Here is another pair of earrings. These are sterling silver screwbacks with a turquoise cab in the center. I that most likely faux turquoise. I don't know that that's real. Here is another Austrian crystal wreath brooch. Um, this one is also marked Austria back here. It's upside down, but you guys get the point. Marked Austria, very beautiful very old. Here is a lucite brooch. These are little lucite balls. This matches one of the um, necklaces from the video yesterday. Gorgeous, gorgeous brooch. Um, here is a little um, AB crystal um, stretch bracelet. This is fun have that one available for tomorrow and what else here this is a soapstone necklace this is a Mayan Sun or Aztec Sun I guess um, it took me a long time to do the research on this one but this is carved soapstone um, and this is these are all soapstone beads or it's which is I guess a type of quartz maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on this but this is the research that I did this is what I found out this is soap like a type of quartz or soapstone um the ones that I found online were very much that's what they were saying that it is quartz or soapstone and then these are the beads they are all individually linked the length on this piece is, let's see here, um, it, there is no clasp on it, so it is, um, it has a 13 inch drop, so 26 inches in length, and uh, really beautiful, very detailed carving there, um, really pretty piece, so that will be available tomorrow. Um, this necklace is that white opaline glass and really pretty also. Um, I love this. These are very large beads too, all glass beads, all faceted with the AB, AB um, coating on it. This is the clasp. It just fits into that little bead. Very nicely. This is approximately 24 inches long. Really pretty. Very pretty piece. All right. Next will be a set. So this is a set. Don't mind my reach here. Um, so from what I can find, this is a Juliana piece. Um, it was not on the site, but um, I found it in a couple other locations listed as Juliana. So this is a Juliana brooch. This is the back of it. This is the front. This is going to be the last. This is the last Juliana piece from my big find. And then this is a matching necklace that I found in there. So this, I would prefer to sell together. I, I mean, I can sell them separate, but I would prefer to sell these together. Um, so there is this little filigree part is bent compared to this one. Um, but other than that, there's really no other issues with it. Um, this is really, really pretty if you look at that. These are really pretty 
glass pieces, cabochons, pressed glass cabochons, AB center, filigree, all really pretty. This is the back of it. Does tick all the boxes for Juliana, so I really don't think that it, I have no reason to think it wouldn't be, even though I didn't find it on the site um, or in my book, but it, um, it does, it was listed on a couple other sites as Juliana. So, but I did not find this is the only, I did not see the necklace anywhere else. So, um, if this does not sell tomorrow in this, in our live, then I may list this on eBay. So, um, but I will give you guys a good deal on it if you are interested. The necklace is uh, 15 inches. Um, but it is so pretty, so unique, such pretty, like light blue and like, like celery green kind of color, limey celery green color. Love that. So that will be available. All right. Next will be, this is, um, this is a, this is 30 some inches, right? 30, 32 inch long jade chip necklace or beads, whichever one you want to call it. I mean, it can be either one. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys. Here is the Presidium. And I am going to so that is Jade right there. So that will be available tomorrow. And then I have this Jade necklace as well. And I'm just going to show you guys that it is Jade also. There we go, up in the jadeite. So this particular necklace is also really pretty. This does, it's got a gold um, clasp, like a gold um, plated clasp. Very pretty, all jadeite beads and that really pretty like green color. This is 24 inches if I remember correctly. I think it's 24 inches long. Let me just double check. Uh, yes, 24 inches long, really pretty jade necklace. Um, then I have this right here. So this is a longer necklace. This is 30 inches long. There is no, there's no clasp on this. So this is also jade. I was really kind of surprised. Um, there we go, you can see that. So I'm gonna put my pen on it. Um, see how it goes right up in there? In, I mean, like totally up in the jade. So, oh, come on. So, that, I really thought this was going to be a like a rose quartz or something, but it goes right past quartz. It goes right up into that top of the jade. So yeah, this is jade, not quartz. Yeah, it goes right past quartz. You can see quartz is on the bottom and it's past the quartz. So I think this is jade, not quartz. So yeah. Um, and then there's another one here. I haven't tested actually this one. Let's see what this is. This could be rose quartz or this could be jade. Let's see. This is rose quartz. You can see that on the bottom. It is definitely rose quartz, not even into the jade. So this is rose quartz necklace here. And so this one is, this one will be available. And this one is 22 inches long, rose quartz. I don't 
don't know. I mean, they look the same. Yeah, they look awfully the same. I don't know why one would test so much higher than the other one. I don't know. Why would this one, why would this one go way past quartz and this one not? They look the same. Could one be pink jade, one that not? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to give you guys good deals on these. This one's 22 inches long. That's definitely rose quartz. Um, this is a really pretty long necklace. This is um, Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R, limited. I read that this is very early and Taylor. This is just a cool chain with a tassel, long chain with a tassel. Um, I heard that this is very early Ann Taylor. Is it? I don't know, maybe, it could be. Um, this is a really pretty double strand, faceted glass bead necklace. Um, really, really pretty, but very long. These are very pokey beads, um, but all cool faceted beads. This is, um, double strand and the shortest strand is uh, 18 inches long. So that's pretty cool. And then I have two of these necklaces. One is maybe a little bit chunkier than the other, but these are all natural stones. Most of these are in the quartz range. Um, a couple of the green ones did test into the jades, uh, but most of these are quartz. And um, I do have two of these necklaces. One is a little bit longer than the other. Both of these will be available tomorrow. Um, and then we do have some more brooches and um, I was going to do another, oh, and then a couple more necklaces too. So let me do these necklaces really quick since I'm on necklaces. I do have, this is a bezel Swarovski crystal necklace, one of the bezel necklaces. And this one's beautiful. And I do have matching earrings too. The earrings are just these little post earrings. But I do have matching earrings for that. Um, the earrings can be done separately. I don't really care on that one. But um, I, I do have this bezel necklace that is um, long. The necklace is 34 inches long. So that will be available. And then I have this, which is super cool. This is a milk glass necklace. These are all milk glass stones set in the gold tone. And then it has these glass milk glass beads. These are cool. There is a clasp on this even, it's over here. So the clasp is right here. It just goes into the setting like that. It just is one of these types you squeeze and push not marked, but this one will be available. And this is, oh, I don't even know. How long is this, Leslie? This is, twenty-eight inches long. Almost thirty, so twenty-nine maybe inches long. It's like fourteen and a half drop. Um, this is called a miracle brooch. So this is brass. It has these stones that are in there. And then they're each of these like opposite corners. There's different things that looks like a harp, some snakes, a man, a stag. I think these are Celtic in tradition. I think they go on kilts. Um, this is a really pretty brooch. Um, very vintage, uh, this one is not marked, but that one is going to be available. Look at this one, look how pretty that little flower is. Little petite fleur, uh, not marked, but those blues, so pretty. 
gorgeous. And then check this one out. Look at that. This is so like Art Nouveau. I love this. There are no rhinestones in this one and not, there's not meant to be any rhinestones in this one. And this is marked, um, this is marked, is that listener? Yep, Lisner. So this is a Lisner piece. So this is Lisner with no rhinestones. All just, it's all just like a pop metal. How cool is that though? Really, very cool. Very, very, very cool. And then this, this is blue AB bracelet. Look at that, absolutely stunning. This one, I know some, I know some of you guys are going to be wanting this one because I know you guys. Um, this is actually only six and three quarters inches. So it is on the smaller size. So six and three quarters, beautiful blue AB. Um, here we have, oops, got some fuzzies on it. Another beautiful, um, crystal a or crystal um geez crystal brooch this one is marked 120th 12 karat gold fill and it's somebody's let's see i might have to take this off c p c r s i'm not familiar so, but it is 120th 12 karat gold fill. This is another beautiful star, crystal star. This one is also marked Kramer of New York. So this puts it to the late 1940s, early 50s. Here is a beautiful, another beautiful bracelet. Oh, God, really, my magnification crazy here. Um, beautiful bracelet here, gorgeous. And uh, this one is, it does have some condition issues right in here. It looks like some finish of the, um, of the silver is kind of like muddied. Um, so uh, that looks like the only issue though. So this one though is really pretty. I mean, it's rhodium plated, except where the finish kind of wore off, but really pretty, beautiful stones in this one. And this measures, Six and a half. Yeah, this measure is about just six and a half, maybe just slightly over six and a half. Gorgeous piece. And then last but not least, this is a very vintage uh, feather. Pot metal, no maker on this. Beautiful, pave crystal. And this one does look like all the stones are intact um, in this one. So that is that. That's going to be everything. Maybe I'll add a couple more. I don't know. We're, we'll see. I can always add requests in if it comes down to it. We'll see. Um, but that's everything that I've got for tomorrow's live. Feel free to message me if you have questions. Um, and uh, we can go from there. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. So I'm super excited to bring you all this awesome jewelry and we will see you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna try to put together maybe an earring video next. And then maybe after that, maybe do a ring one, um, kind of break, break it down into some categories for everybody. Um, let me know what you think of that. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow on the live. And we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. Bye.